Yeah, um, I mean, you saw it. <laughs> you saw what uh, happened out there. Um, you know, just I think uh, obviously I'm proud. I'm proud of uh, the way our guys um, every single week um, bring everything they've got. And it doesn't just happen on game days. I think that's uh, the, the thing I told them in the locker room just now is, you know, a lot of people make choices uh, to, to um, you know, do something special, uh, but the work doesn't always support uh, the goals that they have. And these guys um, don't just do it on game day. They do it each and every day um, going back to, you know, the, chi the time uh, a year ago when they decided to come back and, and make this uh, vision happen a reality. So um, thought we played a really sharp game um, in a lot of ways, uh, a couple opportunities that were missed. Um, unfortunate situation with the clock and thought we'd end up with just a, you know, maybe uh, 10, 15 seconds to have to work with and then go the whole length of the field. But, um, you know, the uh, defense had to stay out there and, and play every down till the very end. And so proud of the resiliency and finding another way to win a football game. We'll open it up for questions. Please raise your hand and wait for a microphone. We'll start in the front row right side. Uh, David, I've been with The Athletic. Michael, was there a time in your life where you felt like a night like this wasn't possible with all the injuries that you went through? And, and what is it like to, to get here and, and get to a national championship game? Uh, I wouldn't say uh, I ever felt like this wasn't possible because, you know, all things are possible uh, when you believe in God, you know. So for me, you know, it was just it, it was a tough time. You know, I, I was going through uh, some tough things, you know, throughout my career. But, you know, I always say, man, I feel like everything I've been through, you know, built built me for this moment, you know, built me into the man and the, the person and the player I am today. So, you know, I wouldn't change it for anything. You know, I'm, I'm super blessed to be in this position and I'm super blessed to be uh, be able to do it with the dogs. So. All right, we'll go to the left side in the back. Okay. Um, question for Kalen, then one for Michael as well. Uh, Pat Forty from Sports Illustrated. What was the nature of Dylan Johnson's injury? And then for Michael, what was it like watching that last drive from the sidelines? Um, I think, and again, I haven't even talked to the training staff. Um, I caught Dylan just a second, and it's, it's, it's related, I think, to what he's been going through the last couple months. So, um, you know, obviously... He was down and in some pain, and uh, but he's been in pain uh, the last couple months, um, you know. So just working through it. He's a tough, tough guy, uh, tough kid. I'm not a kid anymore. But tough uh, player for us. He just um, he's been so um, just so strong and keep keeps pushing forward. Um, it goes back to you know two or three weeks left to go in the season when uh, really this injury happened. So uh, I think based on what I understand. Yeah. Um for sure, man. Prayers up to DJ. You know, he, he's been, you know, amazing for us all year. You know, and um, you know, he, he's he, he's definitely. I saw a video whenever I was um, getting an interview. He was going off the car, you know, pumping his fist. You know, just super excited, screaming at the crowd. You know, uh, man, that, that's just a person he is. He he's just full of excitement. You know, he wants to see everybody else be great. You know, but you know, obviously, you know, seeing him go down was hard for us. But um, Watching the last drive from the sideline, you know, it it was, you know, it was just believing, you know. Um, Coach DeBoer, he always preached to us, you know, uh, we're built for this moment, you know, and we believed it. And uh, no matter, you know, the uh, circumstances, you know, um, the adversity that went, we went through during that drive, you know, you know, every, I know everybody on the sideline continue to believe, you know, continue to believe in the defense that they were going to get that stop, you know, because they've done it all year. You know, you've seen it so many times uh, each and every week, you know, throughout the season, you know, them, them coming up with big time stops and big time moments. So um, it, we'll it was just waiting for the play and it was bound to happen but um just super blessed and you know uh, we, we were all believing on the sideline so at left side along the aisle uh, Andrea Adelson ESPN.com this one's for Kalen and Michael what do you feel like a performance that Michael had tonight does for his legacy at Washington yeah I mean he he set the tone pretty quickly and um I mean just made all the throws and and obviously there's other people that have to have to make the plays as well, but you know, I thought he just was so so good with his feet in the pocket and resetting and and making throws, uh, you know, things that we know he's capable of doing. Um, and uh, with a good defense like we were facing uh, in Texas today, he had, uh, you know, kind of resort to all the tools that he has and all the skill sets that uh, make him special and make him, you know, in my mind, the best player in college football. And um, you know, this guy, um, you know. Uh, you know, all, all, all really month, um, you know, was on another level uh, as far as his mission, you know, to make sure that this happened. And, um, you know, I think, you know, you saw it all week in practice. 
Um, there was just nothing he was going to let, you know, where to let slide by where um, we would leave a chant, leave uh, leave a doubt uh, that you know we weren't going to find a way to win. Um, even last night, and I don't know what the meeting was about, but uh, you know he asked uh, to get the guys together, and um, you know I think just uh, sharing his mind, sharing his heart, you know certainly as a leader in this fo- of this football team. Um, you know, those guys respond, and you saw that today. Those guys play with passion, and it starts with uh, number nine right here. Yeah, man, I'm just blessed. You know, I, I couldn't do it without, without the man above and uh, obviously without my office in line and everybody that's, that, that's been protecting me all season. You know, and they've been doing an amazing job, you know, just keeping me clean. And, you know, obviously I got the best playmakers on the outside, so it's like it, it make it easy. You know, you got the best players on the outside. You got Joe Moore winners, man. It's, it's like – you know, it, it makes my job so easy, man. I'm just super blessed to be in this position, you know. But, um, man, the job's not finished. You know, I, I feel like, you know, it's definitely going to take more. You know, I'm going to push myself to, to get this team more next week. And, um, man, we're just super excited for the opportunity for sure. We'll go to the right side. Kalen, uh, Gary Smith with AP. Kalen, on a night with big pass plays, one after the other, Polk had the first one on the catch and run. How important was that for kind of setting the tone for what you were going to do? And then Michael, his pick, Polk's touchdown catch where he tipped it to himself. How, what, what was your view on that play and what did you think of that one? On which one? That touchdown. Oh. Yeah, I think uh, that, that first drive um, and just coming out and, you know, Michael putting the ball, like, I mean, in a perfect position for JP to – catch it and then JP making a couple guys miss and uh, you know getting a quick score um, kind of just you know with a month off you don't know you know how you're going to come out and what type of rhythm you're going to have and I think uh, that got Mike into a rhythm uh, very quickly and uh, gave us a lot of confidence that we can move the ball up and down the field. The touchdown on the, the post uh, to JP where he tipped it up. Oh there. yeah man um and that's that's a play we've been running all season. Um, you know, just got the right look, and you know, me and me and JP was on the same page, and you know, just having to avoid avoid uh, pressure and make the throw. You know, it's just like a routine play, man. It's just something that we've been repping all year. And um, man, JP, you know, he he's a guy that's been making plays, you know, all all season. You know, you see him show up each and every week. So uh, he's somebody that I trust, and I mean, I trust all my guys, but yeah, he, he's somebody that I could trust, you know, to make those big time plays. And and I knew once I threw the ball. You know, it's going to be a touchdown, tipped or not. You know, I, I knew he was going to find a way to get it because that's what he's been doing all year. My voice going out was loud. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go to the left side. Yeah. Uh, for Kalen and Michael. Kalen, uh, you have not been afraid to go downfield all season. Even tonight, uh, there were times that, uh, toward the end, four or five minutes left, and you're not afraid to take, take shots downfield. Could you talk to me about just that philosophy of, of not just – worrying about the clock and, and, and getting the ball downfield. And Michael, a few weeks ago, y'all went an emotional game in the uh, Apple Cup and you have to turn around and go play uh, Oregon and your underdog's there. Now you win this emotional game tonight and here you're gonna be a week from now going to Houston to play Michigan. How does this team get itself back up and get emotionally ready and, uh, to go for this game? Yeah, I think the aggressiveness is just who we are. and. Um, you know, I think time and time again, you just uh, you even, you know, look at the drives where we kind of stalled. Um, and I know a, a lot of the times we just kind of look back on it. And we were like, man, we just need to give, you know, Michael a chance to have the ball in his hands uh, because he was feeling it and his guys were making plays and he was putting the ball where it needed to be and making good reads and um, the old line was protecting for him. And so not losing that aggressiveness. Um, I thought we did a good job even coming out of the half. And, uh, you know, you always – you know, never know how it's going to go. Um, you'd like to run some time off the clock, but uh, that's what we've done the last two years here is just stay aggressive, um, give Michael and the guys a chance to make a play, and, uh, you know, again, pushing the ball down the field, even to Rome, uh, getting the PI and things like that. Uh, we're just trying to put the game away, you know, and um, we don't want to be reckless, but uh, that's our style. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah, man, just keeping a one and no mindset. You know, that, that's what it's always been about all year, you know. Um, yeah, we're going to celebrate this win, you know, but we're going to have a quick turnaround. You got to be ready for, for the national championship. We're going to be playing a good team. And, um, but, man, it's been amazing. You know, it's just everybody's just collectively just continue to believe and, you know, continue to trust the process. You know, we, that's the thing about us. You know, I feel like each and every player on this team, you know, we fell in love with the process, you know, and um, I've said it since, day, since the 
I think it was around fall camp, that our goal was to win a national championship. And um, some people probably didn't believe us, you know, but um, we had the opportunity to do that. So um, we, we're not going to get distracted and forget about that goal. You know, obviously this was a, a step towards it, you know, and it's given us the opportunity to be able to play in that game, you know, but um, we, we're still motivated. We still got, got more things uh, we want to accomplish, man. And that natty is right, right here in front of us. And, you know, our focus is going to be on that and we're, we're going to be ready for the game. I will go to the right side on the aisle. Ethan Kilbreth with the Daily. Question for any of the three of you. This team has talked about all season about the belief that it has in prevailing, getting the win. Could you talk about what that belief looked like on the final drive in a stressful situation? Yeah, from a defensive perspective, I mean, that belief just stems from all of our, you know, preparation um, throughout the whole season, uh, throughout this, these past, what, three, four weeks that we've had, you know, to get ready. Um, you know, early on before the season, you know, in our training periods, but uh, it, it, it's it's part of our standard. You know, like we, it's a player-led team. Like we 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 do that every single day, right? Um, we put ourselves in those situations out at practice to where we're ready when that happens. And I think, like, you can think we were shook out there, obviously, but we weren't. You know, we we were ten toes down, ready to go. Go to the right side, front row. I apologize if you already answered this. I came in late, but talk about the third quarter, how you guys dominated the third quarter and you held Texas to five plays with your not keeping your offense on the field. You turned the ball over a couple times. Really, the talk about this going into this game was the Texas defense maybe be able to stifle y'all, but y'all used your offense to stifle the Texas offense. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, you know, the defense did a nice job getting off the field, um, whether it would be takeaways or, um, you know, getting stops. Uh, you know, I think we started feeling it there at the end of the second quarter, going into the third, and uh, getting a chance to have the ball to come out of the locker room and marching right down the field, and then um, kind of getting that ten-point lead. Um, that was a big, that was a big time in the game for us um, to be able to be a little bit more in control. And so, um, that was good team football that we were playing right there. And uh, you know, I think that's what we've done a good job of, especially the second half of the season, is is being there for each other, but getting the stops and then going down and and getting at some sort of points. You know, every point mattered, obviously, tonight. And so, um, you know, getting field goals even when, uh, you know, you'd like to get more, but getting some points on the board and special teams coming through with the, the field goals there, um, making all their opportunities. Um, you know, the guys just uh, coming out of the locker room and knowing there's 30 minutes left and, you know, leave it all in the field. I'll go to the left side, front row. Uh, Braylon, this, this last week you uh... – you, you heard about that you're an underdog over and over again, and you seem to get a little impatient with that, wanting to come out with a decisive win. You've been the underdog in three of your last four games. Do you feel a little bit better? Maybe you've sold more people on who you are and what you do? I mean, obviously, yeah, I feel, I feel better about that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, I just think, uh, you know, we, we prove everybody wrong time and time again, and we'll continue to do that. And... This is, this is what we do as uh, dogs from at UW up in Seattle, you know. Uh, we're bred for this. Um, we prepare for this. And, you know, you can, you can overlook us all you want, but, you know, we go out there and we prove everybody wrong every time. So, yeah. We'll go to the middle on the right side. Uh, Michael, before the game, Coach talked about how he knew you were a Heisman potential player back in Indiana. Having this kind of a performance on this stage, how much do you think that solidifies and, and maybe answers questions about how the Heisman voting ended? And also, if any of you guys watched uh, College Game Day this morning, was your performance uh, to let naysayers know, if you will? Man, I feel like everything happened for a reason. You know, um, you know coming out of high school, I'm going to be honest, like coming out of high school uh, when I committed to uh, Indiana University, my, my dad, he, he, didn't, he didn't really want me to go there. You know, he didn't understand why I was going there. So um, that was something that was hard for me, you know, just having somebody that I love the most, you know, not, not really, um, you know, um, he, he, didn't, he didn't see my vision, you know, but, you know, I, I, obviously it, it led me to here, you know, going to Indiana, you know, help, help me meet Coach DeBoer, you know, and our relationship that we built, you know, throughout the years has been uh, amazing, you know, and, you know, I wouldn't want to play for anybody else. So, man, I, I'm super blessed. And uh, as far as the Heisman thing, man, that, that's over, man. It, it don't matter. You know, right now, man, we're, we're looking to win a national championship. You know, that's, that's been my goal since day one. Uh, you, you won't find an interview or anything of me saying that I 
want to win the Heisman. Like that, that was never that was never my goal. You know, my goal is to win football games for this team. You know, and um, we've been doing it. You know, uh, 14 and 0, and we got one more to go. So you know, that's my focus. Uh, um, the Heisman committee. You know, uh, I, I'll never like talk down on it, them uh, at all. You know, they they do an amazing job. You know, um, with, with their votes and you know Jaden Daniels. You know, he, he's an amazing player. He's made plays all throughout the year as well. So you know, I, I don't take anything away from him and uh, what what they the decision that they made. You know, but the only thing you know I can account for is what I do to help this team win football games, and uh, that that's what I'm all about. Go to the aisle on the left side. For Kalen and for Braylon, I have to know what your thoughts are on Elijah's play. What was going through your mind when he made it there uh, at the end from both of your perspectives on the sideline and on the field? Uh, from my perspective, I was just, you know, obviously happy that he was able to make that play. Uh, a dude like EJ, um, he works really hard every single day. Um, he, he's a big part of our defense, a big part of our team. And to see him, you know, capitalize on an opportunity like that is huge, uh, especially for me being a vet and, and seeing younger guys that I've been – uh, you know, looking at and watching and playing next to ever since they came in and seeing them get opportunities like that is huge. I, I mean, it just makes me happy. It makes our whole defense happy. It makes these guys happy. And um, it's awesome. I think, uh, you know, from a coaching standpoint, you know, first things first, uh, you love seeing just the team come through and find a way to win. And then when you look at individual performances and you see a guy who's come so far, um, even just this year, and, um, you know, the confidence he continues to build and, you know, uh, playing a corner and is so hard. You know, guys are going to make plays. You get to this level in this type of game and, you know, there's going to be a play that's made and being able to just erase it from your mind and go make the next one. Um, he's just really uh, become someone that, you know, we can count on and uh, he's gotten better and he's got uh, a mindset and uh, we got a lot of belief in him on you know across the board both offensively and defensively so uh, it's really cool to see him and use his uh his skill set and his length you know to go knock that ball away we have time for two more questions we'll start in the back on the right side hey, this is for michael and braylon you two have had plenty of adversity through your career michael dealing with injuries at indiana braylon being at uw for now your fifth season Talk about how this process has shaped you into a player that's prepared to go and compete for a national championship next week. Yeah, man, um, I say it all the time, you know, uh, I, I wouldn't change my journey for anything, you know, and obviously, you know, that might seem crazy to say because of what I've been through, you know, um, that if, I, if I would say that, um, I had to get hurt four times for me to get to this point. You know, uh, that's not something that I would have thought of. But man, I, I feel like it was all worth it, man. Um, I, I feel like everything that I've been through is definitely worth it and shaped me into the person, the player, and the man I am today. You know, so um, man, I'm just super blessed to be in this position and, and to be able to to be on the, on the other side. You know, of everything I've been through and uh, continue to climb. You know, um, you know, I just continue to trust my faith and uh, trust everything that I believe in and. Uh, and I, I just let let everything just go, and, you know, just have fun and um, not really worry about any anything that, you know, I've been through. But all, always remembering, you know, um, where I came from, you know, to get to here, you know, it's definitely been made my journey even more special. So, uh, yeah, as a guy that's been around for a while, you know, since 2019 over at UW, but um, as a guy that's been around for a while, it's just it's crazy to see the adversity we've been through and uh, the point or where we're at now. Um, you know, all the guys around us that stayed around, stuck around through, through the mud and to get to where we're at. Uh, it's a great feeling to know that we're at this point in our careers now where we can look back and be like, man, we had to go through that to get to, to where we're at, you know. Um, and I'm just proud of everybody on the team, um, both sides of the ball. And it's a great feeling to be where we're at, but we're not done. All right, final question on the left side. Uh, Kalen, what is your sort of your game plan for the coming week? You got to assume you all are going home tonight. Sometime long flight. Yeah, home. we got we got the coaching staff is going home tonight, um, and uh, we'll go, they'll get rolling. You know, fortunately, we gain a couple hours going back, but uh, the team will stay here tonight. You know, um, and then leave uh, mid morning and get back, and it's gonna be a quick turnaround. You know, we'll get a couple practices in, and then uh, head down to Houston um, and uh, kind of have what we would normally see as a Thursday Friday. Um, down in Houston, you know, those practices. But uh, Tuesday, Wednesday for us, uh, that'll take place uh, up in Seattle. And so give us a chance, uh, you know, to be able to kind of be back at home and 
be around uh, our facilities and get back into the routine. It's going to happen fast and furious. Uh, one crazy thing that we got is we actually start our quarter um, tomorrow. <laughs> so uh, we have some newcomers, high school and transfers coming in, and we have to be around them from a coaching standpoint. But, you know, I can tell you 100% of our dedication uh, – um, you know, we'll be on getting ready, for, obviously, to play this game. I, I'm not expecting these guys will be too consumed with going to practice or going to uh, school or anything like that. So their their time is done. Can you so. can you get in the work that you need? And how does this compare to taking those bus rides to the NAI championship games? Yeah, those these are a little easier. We got a few more people around you, and the plane rides are much shorter. So uh, yeah, we'll en we'll en we'll enjoy it tonight. I think the the one thing that was really apparent, you know. Um, in the locker room is is ever since probably the midseason Oregon win uh, when it was really emotional. I think all these wins as as much as when you're in the locker room you're excited. Um, I think the focus really has gone into kind of a job's not, not done um, and the next one is the most important now. And so I even felt that in there tonight, you know. And uh, you know, guys just enjoying the moment. Uh, realizing what we've accomplished again tonight, but realizing, man, you know, we got to pour everything into getting our bodies right, our minds right, getting healthy as quick as we can here, um, getting the game plan in order, and go back to work. Thanks, gentlemen. Awesome. Thank you. Go dogs.